Use the client view to gain real-time visibility and the high-level indicators of your client submissions. Client view is available on the optimized level accounts. By the end of this video, you will understand exactly how clients submit their documents, know the signs that require your input, and know how best to follow up. Traditional bookkeeping lacks a single view of clear indicators that guide where your time would be best divided on any given day. Knowing how close your clients are to a deadline for submissions, how many clients they submit at any time, and whether they're submitted in a timely and efficient way can help to prioritize your tasks for each day, eliminating the occasional shock or surprise. We look at your account's client view, the easiest way to get a high-level picture of how healthy your client's use of Dext is and determine how to best help clients submit documents as efficiently as possible. You will find the client view here, under dashboard in the navigational sidebar. Find a list of your client's names here. These are by default sorted by name alphabetically, but choose to sort your clients however you'd like by clicking on the up or down arrows alongside the other criteria column titles listed in the client view. If there are any messages from your client awaiting your feedback, you will see a chat bubble shaped icon which appears beside the client name. This is usually the first area we'd recommend you to check upon starting your day on Dext Prepare, as any outstanding messages that would have come in from your clients from the last time you opened your account will appear here, and these may need a swift reply. Click on the icon to take you directly to the messages screen for the items in question. We go into tips on how to use messaging further in our messaging clients video. If you right click the message icon, and select Open in the new tab on your web browser. This will allow you to easily cross-reference the Client View tab while you quickly deal with messages. We've handled any immediate overnight queries and tasks. From here, let's move towards setting up your tasks for the day. The Clients in Inbox columns shows you the total number of costs and sales items in each of your clients' inboxes. This is the next area to check after dealing with your unread messages. Items listed here are either ready to publish or export to your accounting software or still require additional input. You will find expense reports listed here. If you have set someone as the approver or you yourself are the approver, these will need your attention before they are published to your accounting software. In any case, these numbers give you a clear idea of how much work there is to do on Dext as of the time you log in. Keep this number manageable by blocking time out to clear a backlog before approaching this on a daily basis. The deadline column, which allows you to set a date for your next deadline or interaction with your client, is situated here. Click on the date field and select a deadline in the pop-up. Deadlines follow a traffic light system of urgency. Deadlines in the future are listed in green. Those in the next two days are in amber and missed deadlines are in red. Use this in conjunction with the items in inbox columns to determine a weekly cadence for your bookkeeping tasks and interactions. Confirm how you would usually cycle through your clients on a normal day and divide these up to ensure you keep on top of deadlines with ease. If you are integrated with Xero or QuickBooks Online, or use BankMatch, check the following two columns in addition to the total cost and sales items, expense reports, and deadlines columns. The two rightmost columns on the client view will house the missing paperwork and outstanding paperwork columns. Any number that appears here represents documents for which an image doesn't exist in Xero or QuickBooks Online. The outstanding paperwork column confirms any documents that are pending reconciliation on your client's bank feed. If you see any numbers listed here, create a missing paperwork or outstanding paperwork report directly to your clients to confirm for the missing items. Follow up with item messaging once they've provided the submitted document to match with the record or ask them for clarification on any areas that aren't too clear, taking the guesswork out of reconciling these missing documents. You now know how to use the Client View Dashboard as a high-level overview to guide your working day. Use the following health indicators proactively to make things easier going forward with your clients, making use of automation and Dext's free client training resources. The first area to keep an eye on is the Suppliers on the Auto-Publish column. 
As a general rule here, the more automated rules set up on your account, the easier your working day will be. We recommend setting up auto-publishing rules based on supplies for which you notice regular submissions from, such as supermarket companies, transportation, business suppliers and warehouses. Regular invoices are the key indicator here and we explain how to set these up on our help centre and training area. Aim to set up auto-publish for between 25-30% to of your client's suppliers in order to notice a significant drop in manual paperwork checks. If your client is in the habit of providing you documents and nothing much in the way of context, use any insights gained here as a starting point to proactively set up rules. You will want to ensure that the accounts you create for clients are being used by them properly and efficiently by using the Dext mobile app for on-the-go submission as and when they receive invoices and receipts. As you can see in this case, only a minority of users in this client account use the mobile app. We can also see that there is less regularity with the submissions seen here in the submissions delay column. This represents the average number of days between the date listed on an invoice or receipt and the date it was submitted to Dext. Latest date is the date on which the last item was submitted to Dext. Keep an eye on this. The odds of a client with an old, latest date of submission sending you items in bulk is pretty high compared to one who has a very recent, latest submission date. It is better for them to submit documents as and when they receive them, as submitting in bulk at a single time will put strain on your team's resources, especially if it is done with days before the end of the tax year. So use this to keep an open lane of communication with clients and remind them of their commitment to ensure their documents are submitted as soon as they receive them. Mobile users, latest data submissions, and the item delay columns are three key indicators for clients who may need further training. Request clients join a live training session if you notice these three signs, or reach out to guide them with their submissions. Let's review. You should now be able to structure your day around the client dashboard by responding to new messages from clients, prioritising tasks based on the number of items in each client inbox and deadlines set around these tasks. You will be able to check on the key health indicators for your client accounts at a glance and know the right follow-up actions to ensure your clients submit their documents on time and regularly.